Hey guys, so this video is going to be um, a couple of things that I told you about in the video before. Um, to start off, I'm wearing um, an OPI polish on my nails. I think it's called Plain with Peonies. Um, but it is this pr really, really pretty um, sort of white with a tint of pink. It's To me, it's sort of a... It reminds me of like bride's dresses. I don't know. I don't know. I think it'd be a really nice bridey sort of colour. Um, but yeah, I'm in love with it. Uh, it's probably not going to last two seconds at work. Um, but yeah, this is my Lush stuff that finally arrived and stuff from Kringle. Um, Kringle candles and I also ordered this from ASOS and it arrived today. I got it because it was on sale. I wasn't 100% sure if this was the right shade for me. Um, and I've tried this foundation before but for some reason it just it literally the formula was just all wrong and the um, I applied it and it was really pale but the, then as you sort of blended it in it turned orange and it was it was like one of the lightest shades so I was like that's not right at all um, but yeah it's the rich liquid foundation and this is in the shade um, RF 140 it does seem like my sort of shade, I'm not 100% sure, I'll have to try it. Uh, but it was on sale at £13, reduced from like 21 So I thought that was quite good. And everyone raves about this foundation, so I hope that it's going to suit me. If not, I've got my Barry M um, foundation base thing that's white that I can mix in with it that will make it lighter. Um, so I'm going to start with my Lush stuff. Um, which arrived and I'm so excited. Um, the only downside is the fact that I didn't actually get a invoice for it, so I don't, I can't remember the names of everything. So I've got um, the thing up on my phone. So hopefully I will be able to um, talk you through everything as it comes out. So I got this was all the Christmas stock, and it's all was half price I think it's all sold out now um, but some of these things were like 99 pence which for Lush is amazing so this is Abominable Abominable um, it's a bath bomb and it's got glitter on it and everything I'm not going to open them because I want to keep them wrapped oh it smells so nice I don't know where I'm going to put these I haven't thought this through um, this one is, what's it called, Superstar Bubble Bar, it's got a star in it, excuse me if I do get some of these names wrong, um, I'm not the best with names and matching them up, but this one's Superstar Bubble Bar, and it's beautiful. Um, this one is, I think it's Christmas Eve Bubble Bar, this one, it's got a little moon on it. You can't really smell them through the thing, but I remember smelling them like when they came out in Lush and I thought, I'll just get the things I know I want and then I'll see if I can get the other things in the sale when they go on sale and I managed to get them finally. Um, I, I know I had a lot of trouble getting on their website, but I'm so glad that I finally did. Um, I had these last year and I absolutely loved them. Um, this is called Satsumo Santa Bath Bomb. You can see it's Santa. And this is a really, really strong smell. Mm. It's not fruity, I don't think. I think it's more floral. Or maybe not. <laughs> I don't know. It smells like floral sort of mixed with a fruit. Anyway, yeah, that's that one. Um, this one I don't believe is from the Christmas collection. I think this is from the... I think it's Halloween. It's Cinder's. Uh, this is Bath Ballistic, I believe. Um, Cinder's Bath Bomb, sorry. It's got all the pop rocks on the top, which means that when you put it in, your bath fizzes. <laughs> Love that. Um, I got this one, which I did buy before, which is the uh, Candy Mountain Bubble Bar. Oh, it smells so gorgeous. This is like... It smells like Snow Fairy, but in bubble bar form. 
Um, I got another cinders as well because I really, really liked cinders. And this one seems to be breaking up a little bit, so I'll have to be careful with that one. I also got another Candy Mountain because I love Candy Mountain. Uh, this one is Little Lush Pud. I've never tried this one before, but it's got a little sort of holly thing on the top. And this one smells very Christmassy. Mm, nice. Uh, then I got the, this one's a sugar scrub. Uh, it's got, called Australian Igloo Sugar Scrub. Oh, that smells gorgeous. Uh, I do actually quite like sugar scrubs. I don't think they last as long as I want them to, but sugar scrubs are nice. Um, this one is called, what's this one called? Is it called? Melting Snowman Bath Melt. So it looks like a melted snowman. That one smells, again, very, very Christmassy. I'm not the best with scents, but <laughs> I just know what I like. Um, then this one is so white. Love this one. This one's an apple sort of scent, and I got three of these because oh, when I got some, some of these last year, and I was like, oh, why can't they make them all year round? So when I got the opportunity, I decided to get three because they were 99 pence. Um, I thought, why not? It's like three for, I think three quid, so. I got another melting snowman. This one is a little bit me better made than the other one. <laughs> and finally, I got another Satsumo Santa. So that is <laughs> my Lush done for ages or whenever they bring out the next collection knowing me um so i'm gonna chuck everything back into this box it really is a bag full of goodies if you were to buy this like not in the sale you're looking at spending like 40 quid um obviously everything's half price so it's a massive box full of lush goodies so i'm putting that down on the floor <laughs> Um, and now onto Kringle Candle. Um, I heard of these through um, Wild Young Thing here on YouTube. Hi Jasmine. Um, yeah, she did a Christmas haul video and she showed that she had got Kringle Candle. Uh, apparently this is made by the people who founded um, Yankee Candle. Um, and I'd never heard of them before. Um, well, I think I might have heard of them, but I didn't really pay that much attention to them because I just thought nothing can beat Yankee Candle. Um, but yeah, Jasmine said that they are amazing, they last longer than Yankee Candle and all this good stuff. Um, so I made an order. Um, I just wanted to mainly sort of try the samplers to see like what scents I like and stuff. Um, so she recommended the hot chocolate one and oh my god this is so nice. So it comes in a little tumbler with a lid and it literally does smell like um, hot chocolate you get in Starbucks. It's gorgeous. <sighs> it's so nice. So these small jars retail at £6 but we'll get on to that in a second. Um, I also got um, three samplers. Um, this one is strawberry, and it is the perfect strawberry scent. It does smell a lot like um, the Yankee Candle strawberry one, but we'll have to see. Um, I also got the peach one, because I love peach. And peaches are so nice to eat, I love peaches. Mm. So yeah, that's they're just ideal perfect smells. Um, so it says that they are um, fragrant votive candle so that's how they look they aren't coloured unlike um, Yankee Candles where they've got all the different colours these are all just white which I think sort of makes them look a little bit more fancy uh, and then finally we've got mango now if anybody knows me they know that my favourite Yankee Candle is mango and peach salsa hence the reason I got mango and, mango and peach um, but the mango one just oh my god it is so amazing Mm. <laughs> it's oh, it's almost as nice as the Yankee Candle Mango Peach Salsa one. 
it's so nice. Anyway, the samples were £1.80, uh, which is a little bit more expensive than Yankee Candle, but I think they burn for a lot longer. Um, now here is my issue. Um, you see on the bottom here, um, it says that they are 2 ounce, um, 57 grams, and you get 15 hours of burn time at the bottom there. That's in the samplers. Now if you look at this, you get, you see that? It's 2 ounce, 50... 5 grams, 55 or 56 grams, 15 hours. So this is six pounds, these are one pound 80. They're exactly the same, if anything you get more in these than you do in this. So it's sort of like you are paying four pound 20 for the glass tumbler. Because the stickers that they use on them are pretty much identical. They just sort of, you know, it's, I don't know, I, I don't get the reasoning behind that. I should have read a bit better on the website. Um, but yeah, in the future, now that I've got this jar, once this one's gone, I'm just gonna, if that if I like them, I'm just gonna buy the samplers or get a nice big one that'll last for ages or whatever. Um, I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, I don't get where that, <laughs> the idea of that comes across. Um, and finally, um, my friend has bought me um, tickets to go and see Mick Foley. Um, if anybody knows who Mick Foley is, he is, um, I don't know if he still wrestles, um, but he's still sort of in the WWE every now and then. I saw him the other day on it. Um, and yeah, he's now a stand-up comedian apparently, and he is playing in Sheffield um, at the Memorial Hall, which is the smallest room in the world. Um, and he's doing a stand-up show there, and before the show you get to meet him. It's like a post, a pre-show meet and greet. And my friend's got um, got his tickets for that, and all three of us are going to love it. It's going to be amazing. So yeah, it's going to be me, her, and her boyfriend, and it's going to be pretty epic because we were all like massive wrestling fans when we were kids and we all loved Mick Foley, you gotta love Mick Foley so yeah she's got me tickets for uh, that and I'm so grateful and so happy and I can't wait so yeah that's going to be amazing but I have Mick, Fo Mick Foley's first book somewhere but I have no idea where I've put it I also have his DVDs, I have no idea where I've put them um, so I looked on Amazon and I found this book which I haven't got, which is going to be a good read, I think. Um, it's called Hardcore Diaries. There's Mick Foley himself, <laughs> the legend that is. And yeah, this was like £2.50 with shipping um, from Amazon. And it's like a hardback book, so it's pretty weighty. So I think I got a pretty good bargain there. So it's just for him to sign or whatever. So yeah, that's going to be pretty good. I just whacked myself in the face with it. Um, so yeah, you've got um, makeup here, you've got the barbed wire, which is just known for, and then of course, Mr. Socko. <laughs> if you don't watch wrestling, that's probably a load of rubbish to you. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go now. Um, I'm gonna actually catch up on some sleep. I didn't sleep that well last night, and yeah, get this uploaded, and I'll see you all very soon. Adios. <laughs>